Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best 200 ADEM AO CPU cooler in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 9 best picks, and we'll talk about what you look for before buying a 200 ADEM AO CPU cooler. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we of course are IQ Hone 150E. Just like with our 306M AO guide, our top pick for 208M AO coolers is Corsair's IQ AO. The Corsair IQ Hone 150E has just about everything you could want from an AO. It's compatible with either of Intel or AMD's newer CPU sockets. It comes with high-performing fans, it runs fairly quiet in the majority of cases, and it comes with a very generous warranty. The Corsair IQ Hone 150E comes with Corsair's M140 PWM fans, which can hit max speeds up to 2000 RPM or can be dialed all the way down to 0 RPM when temperatures are lower, thus eliminating a lot of noise. Speaking of noise, the M140 fans operate within a noise level range of 1036 dBA, which helps make the IQ Hone 150E the quietest AO cooler on this list. There's RGB lighting on the pump head, but you don't get RGB fans with this cooler. And another potential downside of the IQ Hone 150E is that it comes with white fan blades instead of all black fan blades. While this won't affect its performance, it may cause a problem with aesthetics if you weren't planning on having any white in your build. However, options like the NZXD Kraken X63 or the EVGA CLC 280 listed below offer all black designs and similar levels of cooling. Ultimately, if you're building a high-end desktop PC and you're looking for high-performing 200 AMAO to add to it, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better option than Corsair's IQ Hone 150E. Moving on to the next at number 2, NZXD Kraken X63. The NZXD Kraken X63 is a solid alternative to Corsair's IQ Hone 150E. And, as mentioned above, its all-black design might make it a superior choice over the Hone 150E for any system builders who won't be able to fit the Hone 150E's white fan blades into their PC builds. In terms of performance, the X63 will perform similarly to the Hone 150E. Its air P fans can hit speeds of up to 1800 RPM and they operate in a decibel range of between 2138 dBA. At their loudest, they are much louder than the M140 PWM fans on the Corsair IQ Hone 150E. However, as there is no zero RPM mode on the Air P fans, the Kraken X63 won't be able to run it as quietly as systems with the Hone 150E in lower CPU load scenarios. The one other drawback that is holding the X63 back a bit is that it currently comes in at tilde $10 more expensive than the Hone 150E. So, as of right now, the Kraken X63 only really makes sense for system builders who need a high-performing 200 ADEM AO cooler that has an all-black design. If you don't mind the white fan blades of the Hone 150E, though, it would be the better option and it would save you some money. The number 3 position is held by Thermal Take Flow. If you're looking for a way to add both solid cooling performance and more RGB lighting into your PC build, then one 200 ADEM AO worth checking out is Thermaltake's Flow Rying RGB Cooler. The Thermaltake Flow AO Cooler features dual 100 Fordham Rying plus RGB fans. The fans aren't as powerful as some of the other options on this list, as they can only hit max speeds of up to 1500 RPM. However, the cooler will still perform adequately and will allow you to hit mild overclocks. As for noise levels, the Rying Plus fans operate between a noise level of 2027 dBA. So, they don't get quite as loud as some of the other options on this list due to their lower max fan speed, but they also won't operate as quietly as options like the Hone 150E or EVGA CLC in lower CPU temperature scenarios. The bottom line, though, is that if you want a 200 ADEM AO with RGB fans on it, the Thermal Take Flow is currently one of the best options available. Next at number 4, we have EVGA CLC 280. If you're looking for an affordable but powerful 200 ADEM AO option, Evgas CLC 280 cooler might be the best fit for you. At just under $120 currently, the EVGA CLC 280 is one of the cheaper 200 ADEM AOs currently available. However, 
That doesn't mean that it lacks for performance. The dual 100 Ford M fans on the EVGA CLC 280 can hit max speeds as high as 2200 RPM. The fastest on this list and low speeds of as low as 600 RPM. That lower speed also gives the EVGA CLC 280 the ability to operate at lower noise levels during low CPU loads. Its noise level ranges from 1640 dBA, making it a bit quieter during lower loads than the other options on this list, but also a bit louder during higher loads. Still, though, for just till to $120. The EVGA CLC 280 will offer fairly similar performance to the Corsair IQ Hone 150E. And, with an all-black design, it won't cause a problem for builders who don't want to use the Hone 150E's white fan blades in their build. The number 5 position is held by Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2. As of the time of publishing this guide, the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 is the cheapest 208M AO cooler on the market, at just under tilde $110. It is tilde $30 cheaper than the Corsair IQ Hone 150E and tilde $10 cheaper than the EVGA CLC 280. In our opinion, it would be better to at least spend $10 more to get the better performing EVGA CLC 280. If, however, you need to save every penny you can, the Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 will still provide adequate cooling performance. It's dual 100 Ford M fans and hit speeds of up to 1700 RPM, and they will operate at tilde 25 dBA on average. So, while the performance and noise levels will match options like the IQ 150E, for the price, you will get solid performance. In the end, though, for $10 extra, the EVGA CLC 280 is a better buy, and it will offer RGB lighting on the pump head, too. The Arctic Liquid Freezer Roman 2 has no RGB lights up. The number 6 position is dominated by NZXT Kraken 63. The Z subset of Krakens contains the most extravagant AOs NZXT has ever released. You'll pay a premium for the LCD screen but do get excellent performance as well. The screen is a novelty but can be useful. Don't feel like getting the best 208 m AO in terms of blink. Then give the X63 a shot instead. This is the most nondescript 208 m liquid cooler of the lot at first glance. The cylindrical CPU block and solid fans have a stealthy appearance that's sure to fit any build. This can change radically once you set it up due to the 320x320 screen gracing the pump top. It accepts everything from static logos and photos to GIFs of your Genshin Impact home. If you want to be practical, you can always turn the screen into a thermometer that displays pertinent system temperatures. The radiator you get with the 63 is thicker than most at 3rd It's also denser and able to absorb more heat. This puts added strain on the fans, but the 100 Ford Air PS are more than up to the task. Each is a respectable CFM approaching 100, with a static pressure of 2.7 Pu to back it up. The tubing is another solidly built component. It's 400 long and feels sturdy yet can bend enough to make installation more comfortable. Speaking of which, putting the AO together requires around 15 minutes and doesn't provide any unforeseen challenges. You're in luck if you have an LGA 1200 or older Intel CPU since the corresponding bracket is already present on the pump head. The 63's performance will remain stellar long after the LCD's novelty wears off. Its cooling efficiency comes close to or matches our top two contenders, while peak operation doesn't see noise, levels breaching the 4 to dB threshold. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Thermaltake Flow Ryan RGB 280TT. Corsair isn't the only company with an RGB galore approach to its 208M liquid cooler. Thermaltake steps up to the challenge with a model whose name we'll abbreviate to Flow Ryan TT for expediency. It has a similar approach with its separate fan hub and in-depth controls through proprietary companion software. Best of all, performance isn't lacking either. The uninspired pump design is a dead giveaway of the Flow Ryan TT's reliance on Aztec parts. Still, it's small yet can move a lot of water while housing six bright LEDs. The milled copper bottom has a generous layer of thermal paste already in place, and the top bracket is ready for all but the latest Intel CPUs. The pair of 100 Ford M fans who secure to the radiator are massive. They have nine opaque black blades each despite also carrying 12 LEDs apiece. The blade's nature doesn't interfere with the vivid and uniform glow of the lighting. The max CFM is adequate, and the low RPM limit suggests quiet operation. This is another 208M liquid cooler that comes with and benefits from a hub lighting controller. 
The fans use proprietary 9-pin cables to connect to it, and the hub can accommodate five of them. Its companion software isn't as sophisticated as IQ. Even so, there's a plethora of lighting modes and effects for you to select. We're partial to tying the color to the current CPU temperature, but having it match your keyboard or other RGB fans is equally valid. The Flowrine TT is among our more expensive choices, so it's reassuring that its performance is up to snuff. You can expect temperatures to come within a hair's breadth of the Hone 150s. Noise levels are slightly better at max RPM, but it's far from the best 208 AO in that respect. The number 8 position is held by Be Quiet, Pure Loop 200 ATEM. Be Quiet is a household name when it comes to power supplies and CPU air coolers. Their first foray into liquid cooling territory wasn't met with fanfare, but that may change if you embrace the Pure Loop. It's the best 200 ATEM AO if silent operation is at the top of your priority list. Furthermore, attention to detail and the ability to refill the coolant make using the cooler with multiple successive builds likely. Let's start with the deceptively simple radiator, which looks like any other 200 ATEM model until you spot a cap at the bottom. Unscrewing this allows you to refill the coolant from a bottle that's part of the accessory set. The radiator and tubing design minimize evaporation. Still, having the means to top the liquid up and prolong the AO's lifespan is hardening. Two 100 Ford Impure Wings 2 fans go onto the radiator. They have rifle bearings for quiet rotation and unique wave-shaped fins that help agitate more air. That helps the fans achieve a respectable throughput of 9D fork from while remaining whisper quiet. The CPU block is mainly made from plastic. It has a nickel-plated octagonal cold plate on the bottom and an acrylic top that glows white and is perfect for drawing attention to equally colored rim. The pump isn't part of the block, dangling from the braided tubing towards the radiator instead. Such placement helps reduce noise and prolongs the pump's life since it's exposed to much less heat. All of these acoustic-focused measures bear fruit. The Pure Loop's idle sound output is in line with others, but it barely increases with processor load. The fans could be spinning at 1600 RPM, and noise would still remain in the mid-30s decibel range. Sound fixation takes its toll on performance, but not by much. Still, you'll want to go with a similarly priced liquid freezer Roman II if a couple extra degrees bother you. Next at number 9 we have MSI Mag Cori Liquid 200 ADA. We all know and respect MSI for making some of the most successful motherboards and other PC components. The company is a latecomer to the AO game, but that doesn't mean you should discount the effort. The Mag Core Liquid 200 ADA is an adequate cooler with solid stats and great-looking RGB that's sure to enhance your build's appearance. MSI put a lot of thought into the AO sign, starting with the CPU block. It has a triangular space in the middle for the Light Up Dragon logo that gives the otherwise cylindrical part some welcome visual uniqueness. Thermal paste and a bracket are there already, so you're all set to install the cooler on an Intel processor. The block is among the lightest we've seen since it doesn't house the pump. You'll find it integrated into the aluminum radiator instead. The impact this has on cooling efficiency is negligible as the pump's positioning aligns with most of a 100 Fordham fan center. The fans in question are white and semi-transparent, allowing a good deal of light to pass through. Their throughput is decent too. The existence of a thriving ecosystem led MSI design the Mac Core Liquid 200 ADO without the need to develop new companion software. RGB adjustment works through Mystic Light, but you can use similar software from other manufacturers without issue. This wouldn't be the best 200 ATEM AO to cool a scalding 12,900 with since it's not as capable as more expensive alternatives. Still, you could run a stock in a knee or hook it up to any Ison processor and be just fine. Lack of overwhelming noise is another incentive as the Mag Core Liquid 200 ADA is more silent than most. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.